The need for political leadership, uh, in the end, uh, to get a city really going, it requires somebody to take on the job of taking the city through the changes because no matter what happens, uh, cities uh, die if they do not continuously change. And uh, to do that, uh, there'll always be pain. So leadership um, that is able to take along the population while it goes through these changes is absolutely critical. So I would say that would be the single most important takeaway from this. Well, cities are changing rapidly and technology is at the core of how we can improve the livability, productivity and sustainability of our cities. Whether it's open data or assisting our communities in becoming connected in the digital sphere, that will accelerate change and the opportunities are almost endless. I was actually here in Singapore in 2008 for the first World Cities Summit that took place and I'm really pleased to see how the event has evolved to actually include something like the Young Leaders uh, Summit or a Collaboration Forum uh, to get together all these people and to feed into the Mayor's Summit and to the event as a whole. So very exciting development and I look forward to future evolution of this platform. In order to be truly creative and innovate, cities need technology, talent and tolerance, but they also need trust. And mobilizing information technology to generate trust has enormous potential. We heard many amazing examples of how open government, in which governments uh, let other citizens lead through sharing information and radical, deliberative, decentralized democracy has fantastic results. And we think this is one of the major opportunities for cities in the future. What I loved about today is that uh, it's the first time in a long time that I've met conviction politicians and it reminds me that there's a real possibility for leadership at city level. So we heard great presentations from the Mayor of Adelaide and the Mayor of Bandung, very different places but both believing in the power of technology to connect us and help us collaborate in new ways to meet both social goals but also environmental goals. So they were both talking about how we can share more uh, and use technologies, to, uh, digitally enabled systems for sharing to reduce our footprint uh, and enhance our quality of life. I think that the, this is an extraordinary moment in world history. This is a moment at which the pace of change, both technologically and demographically, um, is uh, unprecedented. That means that as more and more people are moving into cities, cities face significant challenges. And uh, the key question is, how do we prepare ourselves for things that we've never done before. This is a moment where uh, we have never seen such significant amounts of concentration of people in uh, cities. So we have to challenge ourselves to dream up uh, and to think of new ways of achieving new heights. And two takeaways. Uh, first is that uh, humans, the human part is the essential break of a city. You need to get the people together, you need to get neighbors to know each other, and you need to drive this brick of a local community, be it at the level of a small town, a medium town, or a very, very large town. A large town is made of small communities. Second is that technology is an enabler of new things, and new actions, and new changes in city. And we had extensive discussion about social media, and also the capacity in a city to gather all kind of data of where does your city stand in terms of energy profile, waste profile, so that you can channel this information back to the citizen and start bringing change. Well, the, the biggest thing I've learned today is actually about cities being built for people. Uh, people are the ones that determine whether the city is livable, sustainable uh, and enduring to the next generation. Well, every city is different in terms of culture, history, demographics. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to understand how other cities have overcome certain issues that we are also going through as well, especially in China. And also figure out how we can actually learn from the experiences. Because ultimately we are here about building a city for our people. And here, it's a learning experience from everyone. I think I've heard uh, some city leaders that are really uh, enthusiastic about making a change in their cities. Uh, they are inno innovative in so many ways. We heard the mayor of Badung in uh, Indonesia uh, who was really doing some totally new things in terms of engaging his uh, local community with uh, social media. 
and being active in, 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 uh, in some new uh, media and, and creating new platforms that is very inspiring for young people and, uh, and for the generation right now. And that is so needed for really change to be made. That a mayor in that way uh, goes in front and, uh, and really tries to work with these new kind of technologies. That was very inspiring. Well, I've learned that there's a lot of interesting uh, new initiatives in Asia in particular, which uh, I was not aware of. Uh, and listening to the uh, mayors that have come here speak about their various social initiatives, I thought were really imaginative. And, you know, I tend to work in my company with bigger cities. For example, we're deployed in San Francisco and Chicago and Barcelona and Amsterdam. Uh, but not so much in some of the smaller uh, cities around the world, but to see how creative and innovative leadership has been in those cities has been really you know, in interesting and uh, enlightening for me. Um, these uh, bottom-up approaches uh, are very valid and that you can do initiatives where like, a larger public can, uh, can participate in, in designing and constructing their, their own urban environments and become actively part of that. The cities are very diverse and diversity requires very diverse solutions and putting a group of very smart people together like this really helps feed the ideas into like a, a crucible that will make it very beneficial for all the attendees. It's the challenge of uh, making all our initiatives to be inclusive in the sense that cities, the focus should be on people and then the question becomes how do you ensure that, that we do not, uh, we ensure that the, that, we, that it will be inclusive to include all sets of uh, people, those who are marginalized, the migrant, the old, young. And I think the key lies in a sense that how do you make uh, the city to become attractive for all? Um, so today's one of the sessions that we had today was about how this needs to be done not only at the level of policy and, and, and providing some immediate solution, uh, or targeted solution, but it needs to be done in a more inclusive manner where that citizens themselves participate in bringing about inclusiveness. Uh, I found that there were some initiatives uh, out there, uh, outside of Indonesia, that would be very useful uh, for, for me as a policymaker in a national uh, level. Uh, we have developed um, a national urban policy and strategy, and from this uh, event, I found other things that could be uh, incorporated into our policy and most important thing is uh, the network, the friendship and uh, the future activities after this. I'm hoping that the, this uh, Young Leaders Symposium is not the end but will be the start, uh, starting point towards uh, more closer and more uh, important activities in the future. Leadership means to me political leadership because pol policy makers are basically um, setting um, the targets for a city um, to or for a region to develop to. So political leadership is absolute key. And what is the most important ingredient for political leadership? It is A, to have a clear imagination and a clear vision for where do you want the city to develop to but be the capability to, tra to translate this vision into action and to sustain those actions that you've implemented. I think that the most important thing I can take away from, from this symposium is the importance of planning in cities and the importance of not only having a very good plan but also follow it up and uh, it must be integrated in many senses, like biophysically, social culturally and economically, and also ref all these issues reflecting urban structure. And uh, all this together with the participation.